Hi, my name is George. Our family's been coming to Sun Valley since 1995. My home life was very volatile growing up. Uh, my dad was extremely uh, physical and abusive. I would hear my mom screaming. It felt like two or three times a week in the middle of the night. And I would wake up and just go into the fetal position to try and make it stop. My earliest memory was being groomed sexually by my, my father. That continued on until finally, as the sexual abuse escalated, I left the home and married my husband um, very early. <laughs> the unforgiveness was toxic and it was making me very sick. I had so much hate for my dad. I wasn't able to live a normal life. I wasn't able to be the mom I wanted to be. I was hanging on to something that was hurting me and it was doing me no good. So I actually went to the pastor at Sun Valley at the time and sat down with him. And I said, this is what's happening. So he gave me some very wise counsel. He said, I want you to start praying for your dad every day, multiple times a day. Um, I instantly said, nope, I'm not praying for him. I hate him. There's no way I'm gonna pray for this man. He said, no, I need you to do this. Just try it. He goes, you can't pray for somebody and hate them at the same time. I said, okay. And man, that was the hardest thing I ever did. I was like, are you? Okay, God, I pray for my dad through gritted teeth, right? And um, I would do it at all stoplights. I would just be praying for my dad. This went on for about four months, and I was sitting at the corner of McClintock and Chandler Boulevard. I started to pray for my dad. And as I started to pray for my dad, I felt very empty. And I was scared at first because I was like, what's wrong with me? There was a hole in my heart, um, that unforgiveness that hatred was gone. I had forgiven my dad. It truly was a miracle. Eventually, um, it took a while, but I started to pity my dad, and um, I felt sorry for him. And that's what filled up that hole, was pity for my dad. And then eventually, I was able to start loving him as an earthly father. However, I had my boundaries in place to protect myself and my family. I was able to, to had to start learning how to live normally how to live without that hatred and that unforgiveness that I had had in my whole life. Um, it was new to me. By forgiving my dad, my health got improved rapidly. Um, I was able to have good relationships with my husband and my children. I was able to be a better mother. I was able to be a better wife, a better coworker, a better person. It's worth it to do the hard work, to get your, li to get your life back, it's worth it. I learned to trust Jesus more when things happen, because life will happen. It's coming. If it's not there, it's coming. And when things happen, um, I, I can lean on Him quicker because I trust Him because of what He did for me and how He gave me my life back.